hello my beautiful people and welcome back to my channel and as you can see i'm sitting down mama is tired but i got a little mini haul for y'all that i want to get into from amazon walmart and i think that's it let's get into it little nail cam because I it wasn't worth doing a whole video for because the design I went with this time was a two nail design and the rest are just all painted um you know a color with no design so these are my nails for the next two weeks I love them you know it's um a nod to breast cancer and I actually have a great aunt who um had breast cancer you know she fought she won and there's other forms of cancer that runs um, on my dad's side of the family. But um, yeah, I did have an aunt who had breast cancer. But I'll do like a quick, you know, these two are hot pink and you have the breast cancer symbol and then one shade is light pink, the other is the hot pink. The same for this one, you know, just the opposite and they're the same on both hands. So those are my nails. Um, let's start with amazon and i actually still have um some more stuff coming tomorrow but it's just a screen protector for my ipad and then i have a clear just a clear case because this case is like two years old and it's kind of like starting to fall apart like it won't stay on i have to keep adjusting it so that's the only thing that's coming tomorrow but um let's see I do have a HP laptop that I recently found out was five years old like I forgot how long I've had this laptop because um, Windows has Windows 11 now as an update and I went to go update my computer and it's just like you don't meet all the requirements for this and I'm just like you know why what's what do I need to do like do I have a virus on my computer like what's going on you know what I mean and um when I went to go click on it, because it had a PC health thing, I downloaded all of that and it says like, you know, basically this computer is five years old, it's out of range to be able to handle an update like that. So whatever they have on Windows 11, my computer is too old to uh, handle it. So I was just like, I do not have the money for a new computer right now. So that's going to be on the back burner. Um, and I really don't use the laptop anyway. I've been thinking about getting a desktop. But anyway, I said I was going to erase everything on that and get it out the way and just start using my iPad like as my main computer now. Like if I need to do stuff that I'm not doing on my phone. So with that being said, I ordered this little Bluetooth um, keypad. Let me take it off the... Um, <clears throat> out the bag it came in a little box but you know i got rid of all that stuff already um and so yeah it's just a little wireless keyboard that i thought was so cute so like if i need to type stuff instead of tapping at the screen all day i now have this keyboard and it also comes with a mouse and they're both um they just have to be charged up with this little charger right here which the other ones sorry that's my chair you hear creaking if you hear um the other wireless keyboards that i were that i was looking at they they said they needed batteries like you have to put a battery inside of it so i had bought oops, almost fell right on my hand these are the triple a batteries and then these are double a batteries but i forgot to take them out of my cart before i bought them so now I just have extra batteries whenever I need them. Um, so, also I bought a, a desk mat to go with my desk, like after I remove the laptop, um, you know, wipe it down, all that type of stuff, and have my little keypad on there with the mouse and stuff like that. Just making it look like a fake little office for myself. Um, okay, and with this mat it's reversible so it's two-sided when you decide which side you want to put it on um 
uh, as you can tell by my printer my favorite color is red so i have this like wine color and black one um i think i'm going to start up on the wine color side i like this um and it also comes with this this strap i guess like when you roll it up and um you know put this on it if you don't feel like putting it down or whatever okay um what's next for the ipad i believe this is the one um i feel like this is how you know somebody had it before because there's like tape all around it so this is probably something that somebody had and returned and they resold it but that's fine with me as long as it works i'm not complaining so let's see so yeah this is the stand to put the ipad in um there we go i was like uh oh it's not moving but there it goes and let's see there we go that's better or uh you guys can see it or i would probably better have it like this after i take this uh this screen protector you know in this case off it'll probably work better without that on there so it'll be like a little makeshift desk like i said this my ipad will be my little um desktop with my little keyboard and i also bought um excuse me a stand for my phone because with me doing a podcast for the books that i like to read which if you're into podcasts i do have a podcast called the bibliophiles bookcase you know check me out give me a chance if you want to um listen to that and the way i take notes is i have my kindle app open on either the ipad or my iphone and taking oh there's a lifetime warranty that comes with this um and taking notes on the other one so with these two stands that i saw you know i could have them right by each other and now most likely have kindle open on my phone while taking notes on the ipad now this came separate but as you can see, all you have to do is literally just plop this right on there and bow. I can't show you with my phone because I'm recording on it right now, but probably just like the iPad, you just plop it right in there. It's easy and it's set to go. Um, if you watched my channel before, you've heard me complain about my job, but you've also heard me talk about how I like my worst work space to look clean and to look nice and to look neat um at work we have these little containers for butter packets at work but i don't like them um because the way it's set up and the way it's designed like the butter always falls out on the side of the thing so i went to walmart and I bought this I bought two of them because I take care of two floors and so you know it's not usually it'll be like sticks of butter in here but it won't be sticks of butter they will be little butter um packets you know that you like take off and so but they'll be in here I feel like this is gonna look better than what we actually actually to prove my point but it makes better sense for it to be this way than um you know because in the morning for breakfast it's like of course residents have a hot breakfast but they also have what we call the continental breakfast and in that breakfast is where we have a danish and um and fruit sorry danish fruit and um prunes if they so choose so the little butter case thing that i'm talking about that i don't like um actually it's much smaller but it looks like this and um then we have like a cake display to put the danishes in but i don't like that either because the top like people have literally 
tossed not tossed it but you know let it fall to the floor so it's real cracked and it gets dirty real easily because people will open it grab something and let it like smear at the top so i also bought these to stick the danishes and things in because because of covid they've started wrapping them in little sandwich bags so you know the danish or pastry is always inside of that anyway so it would be better just to put them in this so i thought you know having this there next with the little butter thing because they stay next to each other like how i have it set up and i thought that was cute so i'm gonna be taking these to work and you know if i ever leave my job i've thought about you know like am i going to take back all the things that i bought and probably not you know it's just I look at it as a good deed because I made it look better and it's my workspace like nobody works in those pantries but me so if something comes up missing I know most likely the CNAs have took it and if it's gone it's gone but if I also leave I probably wouldn't take it back depending on how I leave and if they piss me off but uh, <laughs> yeah I think that's it I bought um yeah these came from Walmart I also bought this cute um Three piece set that it really looks like it came from Shein or something like that. It's one of those, um, like furry type of what do you want to call it? Like outfits where it's the I want to call it like a halter top with the pants, and then the cardigan came separate. I don't feel like getting it out of my closet, I ain't gonna lie to y'all, but it's real cute. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, I got that and I bought this stuff and also my niece was with me and she loves Play-Doh. So I got her a uh, um, like 20 piece Play-Doh breakfast set where she can feel like she cooking and when she opened it up, little honey thought she swore she was a chef. Like, I make pancakes. I'm like, all right, honey. Um, all right, y'all, that's all I got. I ain't got no more. I hope you enjoyed the little stuff that I got. I'm probably going to post some pictures when I get done cleaning it up because it look a mess over there um, of what it looks like and what I did with it. Ain't nothing too fancy. I really need to look into getting another chair and I say that all the time. I'm like, y'all can hear this chair like being real raggedy. Um, anyway, yeah. Peace and blessings, my beautiful people. 